Welcome back, my dear. How was the pro-corporation rally? Great, Professor. I think we have started a corporate revolution. It's just a matter of time before the workers of the world are defeated. Oh dear, I thought they had already been defeated. Anyway, would you like to continue our discussion of literature? Yes, if literature is not just fiction, nor just a text that uses unfamiliar language, then what is it? Well, for a convincing answer to the formalist paradigm, one has to understand as to what makes a reader find a certain text and its devices estranging. I have no clue. That is why I am spending my precious time with you. To get the answers. Well, I'm coming to that. Some critics believe that what makes the language in a text strange is deeply informed by the reader's views of what is normal or normative. And normative, as is obvious, is highly culture specific. Therefore, any defamiliarization in the text can only be experienced with a reference to what one perceives as normal, which, of course, can change depending upon who is experiencing the text. I get it. Just like the socialists hate Fox News, even though to us Tea Partiers it is fair and balanced. Yes, but some people also simply reduce the question of literature to an exercise in value judgments. As I explained in my book, Literary Theory, valuing something as literature and literary is also highly subjective, and depends on what is considered so in a given culture at a given time, and might change, if time and space were altered. Well, obviously literary works can have value in themselves, and it is that value that decides their literariness. In my opinion, there is no such thing as a literary work or a literary tradition. And I'm quoting myself here. Value, my dear, is a transitive term. It means whatever is valued by certain people in specific situations, according to particular criteria, and in the light of given purposes. We always interpret literary works in the light of our own concerns. So, literature is what we consider literature? Yes and no. What we consider literature is based upon our values, and our values are always socially constructed. So, then what would be your final word on literature? Well, what I can say, and you can read the details in my book, is that literature does not exist as a thing, but is constituted through value judgments and those value judgments themselves have a close relation to social ideologies. Well, this has left me rather confused, but I will definitely read your book and trouble you with more questions. No problem. Come and visit me, whenever you are free. I will, Professor. Thank you for all your help.